Now, all this amazing hardware needs software to tell it what to do. Right. Right. And that's where the operating system comes in. Absolutely. The OS is like the conductor of the orchestra. Okay. It manages all the resources, like the memory, the CPU, the I.O. devices, and it provides a platform for other programs to run. And what were some of the early PC operating systems? The source mentions PC-DOS and MS-DOS. Okay, yeah, I remember hearing about those. They had this command line interface where you typed commands to interact with the computer. So it was all text-based. Yeah. The OS would display a prompt, and you'd type in commands, either built-in DOS commands or the names of programs to run. And then later on, we got graphical user interfaces like Windows. Yeah, those were a game changer. But that underlying command line stuff was often still there. Yeah, sometimes hidden away, but still there. Now, if you're writing assembly language code, you need a way to actually type it in and save it, right? That's where text editors come in. Absolutely. Text editors are the programmer's trusty tool for creating and modifying plain text files. Yep. And these files are just collections of ASCII codes representing the characters you type. Makes sense. So your assembly code is stored in a text file. Exactly. The source mentions some of those old school text editors like Edit and Notepad. Right. They were pretty basic, but they got the job done. 